Welcome back to the channel that tries to show you everything about life skilling, and my name is Teddy. With bartering being such a long process to get started or just to understand, I'll be showing you how to easily get started using those Aferia sailboats to start bartering in no time. If you like trading and want to learn how to do it on the open ocean, ready those sails, and get those sailors ready, it's time to start bartering in Black Desert Online. Bartering is done by trading goods from one bartering NPC to another for higher tier goods which can be traded in for crow coins. These can be exchanged for ship upgrade parts or other items that can be sold for millions. To get started with bartering, you have to be level 50 or higher, have skilled one sailing, and a Bartali sailboat or higher. If you don't have a Bartali sailboat or the Euphoria sailboat yet, I suggest pausing here and checking out my guide on getting the Euphoria sailboat in the top corner. The link will be in the description down below. But coming back and with the boat ready, it's time to open up the bartering menu. This can be found at the bottom of your map here, or can be found by hitting escape, hitting the life, and selecting bartering. In here has everything you will need to know about bartering. Starting out on the top will let you know if there's any special barters available. These are unlocked after 140 total barters and can be obtained randomly every 250 barters. Special barters can range from trading a single 1000G bar for a Vel's Concentrated Magic or accessories for Crow Coins. These don't expire when resetting barters and can be remotely checked when using the value pack. If you don't have the value pack, you'll have to head to whichever island manually. Next is Parley. This is the currency used to perform bartering. Mastery reduces the cost of Parley used when bartering, and the higher your bartering mastery, the more the cost is reduced, with Guru having a reduction of 20%. Once this hits zero, you can no longer barter. These will go down with each barter, and will start out at a million points. This, however, can be refreshed to restore all Parley to 100% every 4 hours, or 250,000 Parley can be restored by using the Crow's Trade Voucher, which can be made using the normal 60-minute item collection increase scrolls, not the event version. Moving down is the total amount of barters done. The more barters done, the more routes are available, with 12 being the max routes. You will need 70 barters to open up the main routes and 140 to unlock the special bartering. Below this is the filters to choose between which routes to only see and next to this is the barter refresh options with the amount available to spend and the max amount. Hitting this allows you to either choose to reset the barter list using the refresh points to either the normal sea trade goods every 4 hours, instantly reset the list to ignore the timer at a higher refresh cost, change the list to ship materials which is used to upgrade ships every 4 hours, instantly resetting the ship materials at a higher cost, and finally you have the option to use 10,000 parley to reduce the refresh cooldown time. The last thing in this menu is the barter routes. Here you can see the island to head to, the amount of times you can barter here, and which goods can be bartered to another one with the cost of parley under each. This menu can also be accessed when loading cargo onto your ship by hitting the barter info. This can speed up choosing which goods are going to be loaded into the ship. Really fast, comment down below letting me know what routes you focus on, crow coins, or ship upgrade materials. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you're enjoying all the life scaling content here on the channel. And if you want to further support the channel, there's a new feature called the Super Thanks. Clicking this allows you to tip a one-time amount which changes the color of your comment to stand out in the comment section down below. It's a cool way to show your support and show me which videos you really like. Just sharing this video on your social media alone helps support the channel and I couldn't do this without you guys. But now with the understanding of bartering, it's time to learn how to plan routes so you aren't spending hours bartering for nothing to show. When choosing a route to start bartering, it's daunting looking at all the items that can be bartered or which ones are worth time getting. Not all the goods are worth saving and can be sold while others can be saved for ship upgrade materials. So, let me help you decide which goods are worth saving and which ones are good to barter for crow coins. Bartering goods all require a lot of weight just like with the normal trade goods. Land goods up to tier 4 can be stacked in storages, with tier 5 bartering goods needing more storage space not being able to be stacked. Tier 1 goods can be exchanged for Crow Guild barter vouchers. These can be used to make the verdant black stones used to enhance ship gear. The tier 2 bartering goods filter drinking water, Narvo Sea Cucumber, and the Pirate Gold Coin can be bartered for the Island Sea Coated Plywood. 
conch shell ornament, balanced stone pagoda, and the urchin spine can be bartered for the rock salt ingot. These are needed for the Efere Caravel. The Tier 2 Goods Pirate Ship Mask, Supreme Oyster Box, and the Sea Survival Kit are bartered for the Cobalt Ingots. The Tier 4 Bartering Goods Amethyst Fragment and Solified Lava can be bartered for the Tie-Dyed Standardized Tippered Squares. These along with the Island Tree Coated Plywood are needed for the Euphoria Gallius. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. Finally, the Tier 4 and Tier 5 bartering goods can be used for crow coins or sold for silver. The Tier 4 are valued at 2 mil each and the Tier 5 are valued at 5 mil each. The further the route, the more crow coins are rewarded ranging from 50 to 600 crow coins for one bartering good. As for the ship upgrade materials, these are randomly placed around the ocean with the distance not mattering like with the crow coins. After choosing your route, it's time to start bartering for those crow coins or ship materials. So now that you have your land goods loaded on your sailboat and have been sailing for a while to barter, now it's time to start the bartering process and start making millions. In order to start this, you first have to anchor your ship. Once anchored, the barter UI will open giving you new options to do. The first option is to depart. Choosing this raises the anchor and will just have you start sailing again. The next option is Explore. This sends your sailors to explore the island at a cost of 100,000 rations for a chance of obtaining corals, bartering goods, ship durability, and an island exploration quest for contribution points, bartering goods, and ship upgrade materials. Another option is Supply. This will replenish some of your ship supplies for 100,000 rations. These choices have a 30 minute cooldown and cannot be spammed. The last option and the most important one is bartering. Hitting this opens up the new bartering UI. In here shows you which goods you're choosing to exchange with the amount needed, the weight, and how much parley it will cost. There is a max amount you can barter which can be reset with the bartering refreshes and the item you receive is over here. You will have the choice between single bartering or continuous until you have no more attempts that can be done. When the selected goods you are bartering are taken, they are replaced with the new ones allowing you to depart and start sailing again. So now that you know how to barter and choose which routes, let's get to the whole reason why you're out here. Besides needing the materials to upgrade your ship to a better one, bartering rewards the crow coin. These can be used to buy a whole range of goodies. From enhancing to bartering goods, these coins are important and can be used to make billions of silver in a week. The bartering currency can be obtained from either completing tier 5 or some tier 4 barter routes and dailies are scattered around the world. After getting some crow coins, they can be found in the currency section at the bottom of your inventory next to your silver, pearls, and loyalty. The coins are also family bound, allowing them to be used or collected by the other tunes. The limit can go pretty high with needing 2 mil crow coins at the most. Once you have some crow coins to spend, you have two places you can head to. The original place to turn the coins in is the crow's nest out here. Getting here can be done by sailing north from Tinbera Island here. Speaking to Ravinia lets you exchange the coins for ship upgrade materials and other items used for ships. Coming out to Lima Island has Ravina. She will allow you to access the same store as Ravinia and with the added bonus of the Manus accessories. These do have a weekly and daily limit, meaning you cannot spam these. Both stores are tied to one another and cannot be used to bypass the weekly and daily limits. There are plenty of routes to choose from that can make a nice amount of crow coins with Hakavan Island and Magoria routes providing the most and the only downside to this is the time it takes to sail. I personally focus on completing the routes that award me the most coins then I start to get the caravel materials needed. Remember, this can be sped up with faster boats, storing more bartering goods, and having the goods in certain storages. And this should have you ready getting out there and start bartering. This is not the best way to barter or is it the fastest way? I hope this helps you decide if bartering is worth the time and investment or if you were confused I hope this clears up some of the questions you might have had. Bartering has a high investment cost and demands a lot of time with the dailies and quests needed to get started but once you have the understanding you can start bartering and planning routes that best fits the need which should make getting those ship parts and money 
lot easier than before. I've been bartering for a couple weeks, and I can say getting a Euphoria Caravel is a lot better than using the Euphoria Sailboat. I think the next guide I'll be working on is upgrading to the Caravel, but if you want to see another way to level those life skills faster, or just want to make more money in Black Desert Online, click this video here, and I will see you in the next guide.